Hey everybody, it's Allie, and this is the YNR Chat Vlog for Sunday, July 6th. My webcam is being really funky. It's freezing up, and it's making me insane, and I'm really sorry if the video um, picture is freezing up. I have a phone call in to Dell, so hopefully that'll be fixed this week, but I wanted to make a vlog because it feels like it's been so long and there's a lot going on, so even if the webcam freezes up, I'm really sorry. At least hopefully you'll get the audio. Um, but I haven't even talked about the Vegas wedding. I mean, it was so, so fun and so different, and I had a permanent smile on my face throughout that entire scene. Um, I'm happy that Gloria and Jeff are back together. Um, personally, I just think that it's been such a long road for them, and I'm happy to see them back together. I mean, it's going to be the Battling Bardwells Part 2, and that is okay by me. I mean, th those two are perfect for each other. They totally deserve each other. Um, the wedding was really interesting. There was so much talk just in general about about the money and a lot of kind of sick jokes about Gloria just marrying Jeff for his money, and I, I thought it was cute. I thought it was funny. Um, the Little Richard thing was absolutely hilarious. I loved it. Gloria not really knowing if it was the real Little Richard. I don't know. It was it was just kind of funny and and I don't know different. I had a, re a realization though during the during the little Richard scene that when little Richard came to the set of YNR, I'm wondering if he shared a wardrobe with Can Catherine Chancellor because basically I feel like little Richard and Catherine Chancellor are just like the, those those quintessential drag queens, you know, like they they both have like the sequin. Um, pantsuit <laughs> outfit that they wear on special occasions, and I just thought that was pretty funny. Um, but yeah, it was really cool. It was cool to see them. Um, although they really, Jeff and Gloria couldn't really even enjoy their wedding night because Gloria had to run back and spill the beans to Nikki about seeing David at the gambling table, which, um, honestly just made me feel really bad for Jeff. Like, did he even get laid on his wedding night? I, f I just, I felt bad for him, you know? Like, he kept trying to sort of initiate a little, a little something-something, and Gloria was just completely focused on going um, back to Jabot to rat David out. Um, and I have to say, like, even though, um, like, that was, that was Gloria's intent, like, I felt it was a really huge build-up to Gloria telling Nikki about David, and then the way that Gloria even, like, dropped the bomb seemed kind of anticlimactic to me, I don't know, I mean, like, I just, I thought she was gonna be a little more strategic about it, and instead she sort of played dumb, which... I don't know. I don't know if that's the way I would have gone with it. Like, I don't see how that made Nikki respect her anymore. In fact, I could see why that would annoy Nikki. I mean, for crying out loud, Gloria was basically saying, I called off work sick today, but I was really going to get married, and I saw your husband there. You know what I mean? Like, it just wasn't even, I don't know, it just didn't even seem like a really good... Um, way to do it, but that's just me. Um, but while Gloria was at Jabot spilling the beans about David, Jeff decided to have a little word with Jill. Um, a little word with Jill. Because actually what happened was he told Jill that he was married to Gloria, and Jill, I think, I think kind of rightly so, <laughs> just hauled off and smacked him in the face, and I thought his reaction was priceless. I mean, Jeff was literally just like, whoa, what did I do? You know, he, he said, why do women keep smacking me? <laughs> it's like, gee, Jeff, I wonder. I thought that was kind of funny, though. I mean, Jill, and then Jill, like, mumbling to herself in the hall afterwards, bastard. Yeah, I can see, I can totally see where she's coming from. I mean, Jeff did basically use Jill, you know, as kind of an, in the meantime, um, you know, from his little break with Gloria. But you know what? Jill set the standard. She told Jeff that she wasn't in it for any kind of relationship. She knew, she she told him that she knew he loved Gloria. So I, I, in a way, I'm also kind of thinking, I mean, well, it was funny to see her smack him because he deserves it anyway. Like, as far as I'm concerned, that smack is just, um, rich, you know, it's it's karma or something for, for many of the other things he's done. But, um, but yeah, basically Jill laid down those ground rules, so she really can't be upset that he ended up marrying Gloria. I just think, I think it's just, that's just a blow to Jill's self-esteem, you know, she wanted to be the, she wanted to be the main female, you know, and she doesn't want to lose to Gloria, which is, I think, probably part of the main, main source of that 
smack, but anyway, anyway. So, um, one more note about Jeff and Gloria. Why are they going back to Jack and Sharon's, to the pool house, to have their little honeymoon time? Like, I, I mean, Jeff is rich so many times over. Why on earth do they want to go back to the pool house? I mean, even get a hotel at the athletic club for a couple of days. I mean, even if Gloria's not ready to move in with him yet, at least, like, go have your nookie in the, the, at the club like everyone else, you know? Don't do it in the pool house. But I think the worst part of that was that uh, um, <laughs> Jeff and Gloria ended up walking in on Sharon and Jack not exactly having sex, but I think it was just after they had had sex. And I'm sorry, but, like, is it just me? Or, um, the thought of Sharon and Jack having sex just, it's not sexy. And I like Jack, and I like Sharon separately, I think. I don't know. I, I just, there's, I, Sharon and Jack just don't really do it for me. And, uh, not that I'm looking to YNR to get my jollies, don't get me wrong or anything, but I just, Jack and Sharon are a weird couple, and I can't imagine them, um, having sex. I guess the only good thing about Gloria and Jeff actually staying there would be for them to possibly stop Sharon and Jack from having any more sex scenes <laughs> in the future. So, I don't know, that's just me. What do you guys think? Feel free, feel free to post some comments, some video responses. I say that kind of like a broken record, but I notice there are a couple of new subscribers out there, so hopefully we'll get some people who are a little ambitious. I would love to see some text comments, and especially I would love to see some videos. Maybe your webcams aren't broken, mine, mine is, but maybe you guys can make some cool videos and post them as a response to this one. Um, okay, so... David and Nikki. Let's just get there. Because, um, here, here, this is just bugging me. This is what's bugging me. If we're going to talk about Jimin, if we're going to go back and pin Jimin's murder on David, YNR needs to do a recap, okay? I need some additional information. It's been, I mean, how long has it been? I don't even know. what. I, I'm sure it's been over a, a year and a half, maybe, since Jimin died. Um, I, I can't process this. Like, I need some, I need a flashback to the scene, to the day. I need them to do a montage of what was going on at that time because I don't remember, you know? Um, and so, and I just, I kind of, there's a part of me that's thinking, if YNR is just pinning this on David Chow to kind of get him off the show and it wasn't planned at the time, that's going to annoy me. Like, I want to see some scenes from at the time that the Jimin murder happened, and I want to know that there is some kind of logical, that, that we would have been able to figure out that it was David Chow, and maybe I just missed it, or you just missed it. I know a couple people said they were surprised by it, too. But if this is just kind of like an after the thought, um, you know, David Chow killed Jimin thing, I'm going to be kind of annoyed. But that's just me. <clears throat> it seems like David is, at least he is a remorseful killer. I mean, I, it, you know, it wasn't something that he did just because he likes killing people. Because, you know, I'm, I'm the one that's been saying David Chow isn't a murderer. <laughs> I said that several times. Um, I don't know why I didn't see this coming. But anyway, um, you know, at least he's, he's a remorseful killer. It's not like he's just killing because he because he feels like it. But now he is leaving Nikki. And Nikki is still standing by him for some reason. And I think it was Nick, I think it was Nick that mentioned that she's really becoming kind of an enabler for this guy. And that is so, so true um, and very frustrating. Um, I couldn't be with somebody who had lied to me. I mean, I understand that Nikki is being loyal to a fault. She wants to stand by her husband, and I understand that, but, I mean, the magnitude of David's lies is just, it's just staggering, and, you know, in a way, I think that, I mean, I think David leaving Nikki, this is his way of trying to protect her from the fact that he's going to have to kill again, that he's going to have to, you know, that, that he killed Jima, and I mean, I think that in his own way, I do think that he loved Nikki, I think he's a sick, sick man, but I think he loved Nikki in his way, and I think him leaving her now is, um, is his way of protecting her, but overall, I think that Nikki is taking this very well. She was eyeballing the wine in the in the gift basket, um, which, which is hilarious. She was like, put that in Jill's office, because I don't want to be around it. But um, but I think overall, she's taking it very well. Um, 
probably better than I think a lot of people would. Like, she's keeping herself composed. She's going out in public. I would be hiding in my room. I would be working from home and hiding in my room for days. Um, but I guess the question on the table now is how how is the David Kill Jimin thing going to come out? Is he going to tell her? Is she going to find out another way? Is someone in Genoa City in danger? So we've got this hit that's out there. David is going to be compelled to perform another hit. Who is it going to be? Is it going to be Gloria? Is it going to be Victor? Because these things are kind of happening um, as a result of these guys needing money, and I think that those are both really possible um, concepts there, either Gloria or maybe even Victor. I, I hope we're going somewhere with that storyline. I hope we get some more resolution on the Jimin thing. I hope we find out who David's actually going to have to kill. I'm almost out of time because of YouTube's stupid 10 minute video rule, so I'm going to have to stop right now. I'm going to call this the end of part one, and I'm going to post the rest of my video next. So stick with me. So much more to talk about. Bye!